missed it though and uh, during that fight but yep. Oh, they actually, I, I'm not sure if they saw the screen come out from Nuts, but this could be a really good time to push. Uh, Nuts also needs to get the hell out of here. If he <laughs> blinks backwards, he is dead. And then, with a four star pushing Dro Ranger forward, Nuts just wants to TP himself out to safety. The Nightmare cancels that. With a couple of races, they do bring him down. Firebex available. This is, I, I don't even say a support queen of pain, but the Sonic Wave can be up if required. And now God. Amplify the shackle won't latch on Illidan. He's still sending Radiant positives after it's amplified. That's actually pretty absurd. <laughs> oh, for now, maybe when Bulldog rotates himself down, but the brute just wants to push in through that middle lane. But Bulldog, he initiates this time. They get on top of Illidan, and Illidan's so low. But FNG speed script it controls him up. The drone range will will actually drop. That Lich only doing some considerable damage as Loader back in again with a crush and the follow up bash. Going through three, but Godzilla has so much damage. S4 to burn through the Aegis. Meanwhile, a mid brute doing brutally things, taking out that melee Rex. Loader, he wants to try and fight. TV out, that's not going to work. The Shackle, however, controls up God. It's a rampage for God, and S4 has to retreat back out. That SF is just Radiant's way too big for Elias to deal with, and they have no buybacks on their dead heroes. And again, another Requiem goes uninterrupted. Radiant's that one had to come out from the Lich, though, and Elias. I mean, they they went with the best shot that they had. They saw the cheese on the Drow Ranger, so okay, we have to doom her, she, so she can't pop the cheese, and if we doom G, it's a lost fight. So they went with the best percentage plate that they had, and unfortunately, yeah, as you said, G is too strong. Nah, he's so strong. Phobos is split pushing. They can't, they can't even grab a fight. Uh, they can't dictate the terms of these engagements. Alliance, even with good blink crushes, you get loaded with a triple kill. It's just like there's nothing else to follow up after that point. And VP, they got such sustainable damage just because the SF is so huge. Admiral Bulldog, now with the blink forward, he really wants his kill over on God. And maybe they can get it, but they have to get through that evasion. Able to do so, S4, a little bit harder. And in fact, no, not when the Radiant's Razor there. God takes one, Bulldog's attack. down for over a minute. RK is going to join him as our uh, phone boss just goes to work, draws back the front lines, and this Radiant's really is the game. VP, attack. they've controlled it Radiant's perfectly, they've done the draw proud, Loda will miss his stun, Bane actually fiend scripts over on the slaughter, they'll switch the nightmare over, but already VP, with the extra stuns from the familiars, S4 will drop, Phobos will survive to the bitter end, I think S4 just wants to get a little bit of revenge here, he can't reach him, in fact he's going to get gusted up by Elden, and the tier 4 towers are attacked, and there it is, 11 and 22, Virtus Pro will end up taking the game against Alliance and Radiant's eliminating them from this Frankfurt Major. I really like how G just stood up there in man mode. He's like, I am God. You cannot kill me. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. And he had support everywhere across the map. The control was perfect from VP. They're on comfort heroes. The familiars were dropping everywhere. The Broodmother was always adding pressure. Man, maybe Phobos went to that